Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another modern day Disney princess look. Today we are doing Giselle from Enchanted. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it because this is a very pretty look and I'm very excited for the outfit, the hair, the makeup, all of it. So uh, before we get started, I do have my brows and my base done uh, because this look isn't going to be, there's not gonna be a whole lot of fallout. So I just have my wig uh, tucked back here with a clip. So we are going to prime our eyes as per usual with our NYX base in white. Very excited for this look, not only because it uses my favorite uh, colors for like the look overall, like the teal and everything, but I'm trying a brand new palette I just got. Uh, this video will be up before the full makeup haul. I did purchase some makeup recently for the first time in a very long time. So I am excited to share that with you. So this is like a little sneak peek of what I got. So the first color we are going to go into is from the Aura and Out palette from ColourPop. I just got this, I'm super excited to use it. Um, I've been seeing these all over Instagram and I got my little hands on them. So we are going to go into color Vibes, which is like this light shimmery blue right here. This looks super pigmented already. Uh, and on a fluffy brush, we are just going to use this as our transition shade. I can tell it's not picking up on camera very much, but this is like a very light kind of greeny teal. Like it's almost just a wash of color. And now obviously I'm using a big fluffy brush. So it is not going to give you like a whole lot of impact um, unless you pack it on. So in my haul, I am going to do swatches. So subscribe if you guys want to make sure you see that. Now I'm going to go into Young Love, which is the matte white with the same brush. Just pack a little bit underneath the brow and blend it out so it's got no harsh edges. I think this is going to be kind of like a 60s look when it's all said and done, like kind of a hippie flower child, like my outfit kind of gives off that vibe as well. So we'll see where this goes. I'm going to go into the color New Age, which is the shimmery teal here. I'd say it's probably like a foiled. Oh yeah, this is definitely like a foiled shadow. You can see the shine on this is beautiful. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And these are so soft. I'm inch, you know what? I'm gonna wet my brush. Got a little setting spray. This is the lasting fix from Maybelline. Let me tell you what, this is the best setting spray. I've had the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have had um, MAC Fix Plus. And this is the one. Oh, this is so pretty. Using it wet definitely intensifies it. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna say this is a uh, foiled shadow. For the inner corner, I'm going to use this pressed glitter called Energetics. Um, it, I've never used their pressed glitters. Oh, okay. So they're kind of like jelly-like, I guess. Okay, very interesting. Um, and we're gonna pop this in the inner corner. I kind of base this off of the looks that Giselle has in the movie. Um, she has the big wedding dress in the beginning when it's like animated. So I am going, that's where I got the idea for the white glitter um, from this palette. And then obviously her teal outfit that she wears for most of the movie is the rest of the look. Wow, this glitter has so many colors in it. That's beautiful. ColourPop, you never fail me. Now we're gonna do liner. I'm using a ColourPop shadow. This is not sponsored, by the way. Um, in Hydroplane, it's like a deep teal. And I'm just gonna put this on a liner brush to use as a liner instead of black. I think, like, I don't mind using black liner, but I think when you use it all the time, it just, weighs some of your looks down. This one I want to be very light and colorful. So I'm gonna line with a 
more teal that kind of matches the rest of the look. So now I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm going to use these big Ardell ones. These are in 207 black. I'm not sure which collection these are from. So I have my lashes on. They're very big, they're very full. They feel very 60s-esque. So now I'm going to take a big brush and I am going to take my ColourPop blush in Fun With Friends. And we're just gonna pick some of this up. It's a little bit shimmery. And we're gonna put this on the cheeks. Giselle's whole shtick is that she doesn't fit in in the modern world. Um, so I kind of did like a vintage girl who doesn't fit in in the modern world because she's old fashioned and you know, Giselle's really old fashioned. Uh, but I thought the lashes too would make it look like really wide eyed and kind of cartoon-esque because just the way she moves and acts and everything. It's all very cartoony because she's from a cartoon world. So now I'm going in with Goddess of Love Highlighter from Makeup Revolution, just on the same brush. And we're just gonna tap this on. Again, just like glowing, shimmery, shiny. This corner of this lash does not wanna stay in its home. Cupid's bow, just like glowing. Then for lips, I'm going to take, I think this is called Alluring. Yeah, alluring from NYX and line my lips. As you can see, I did my lips very deliberately around the top, so they are nice and uh, accented. The color I'm using today is Supermodel from Lorac. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me just take my hair down so y'all can get the effect. So this is how it looks with the red hair. I think it looks really good with this hair, actually. So if you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe down below, comment, share it with your friends, let them know that I'm doing a Modern Princess series, um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.